Have you guys ever wondered why South LA has so many gated alleys? Well, today we'll figure out. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the South LA Recap. And don't forget to like and subscribe or even comment to help this channel out and to learn more about South LA on the regular. Today we're talking about alleys. I'm talking about the alleys in South LA that have these tall green wrought iron gates that are either locked or flung open. Believe it or not, alleys that have these tall iron green gates are not a part of the city of Los Angeles and the city is not responsible for cleaning them or enforcing any rules in them. They're actually private property. Alleys have always been a liability for the city of Los Angeles. They have been hotbeds for illicit activity and illegal dumping. The concept of alleys is actually pretty neat when you kind of think about it in this ideal universe. They were public access areas where you could have your utilities easily accessible behind the home, so think telephone wires and electric wires, and residents were able to put their trash out in alleys so they wouldn't have them in front of the house on the street. Pretty neat. But in reality, they ended up becoming places where people are committing actions or even hanging out without much police patrol. In fact, for Los Angeles, alleys were a money pit. The Los Angeles Times reported the Department of Public Works spending $4 million a year in the mid-90s cleaning up alleys alone. Through this initiative in the mid-90s, residents were encouraged to petition the city to install these gates, which would hopefully curb crime and keep their alleys not only safe, but free of illegal dumping. Through the Nuisance Alley Conversion Pilot Project, the city paid the $3,700 tab per alley to install the gates and to clean the alley one last time after residents were to petition for these gates. The residents were given the key and the alley became shared private property between the nearby property owners and the city crossed the alley off its cleaning list. And by 1996, the Nuisance Alley Conversion Pilot Project had sealed off 214 alleys, mostly in South LA, with the hopes that the project would pay for itself with fewer illegal dumping pickup requests. I've personally lived next to the, one of these gated alleys for quite some time in South LA, and I've talked to several residents about them. Oftentimes these alleys were closed shut like they were in the 90s, but the locks were often cut with bolt cutters and the chains were often discarded. And the alley gates ended up being flung wide open as if they were never there to begin with. Also to note, now in the alleys, the city no longer enforces parking restrictions, no longer maintains the paved alleyway roads, and no longer fulfills any cleaning requests in the bounds of the alley. These are all the responsibility of the private homeowners that are all living next to the alley. The city is no longer responsible for anything that happens within these gated alleys. What's worse, the $3,700 per alley project has not solved illegal dumping in South LA or the city at large. In fact, South LA is a leading contributor for illegal dumping pickup requests in the city. According to the Los Angeles City Controller website, there were over 21,900 illegal dumping pickup requests in 2020 in the city of Los Angeles. South LA accounted for more than 5,400 of these requests or about 25% of the entire city of Los Angeles. So yes, in short, in the mid 90s, the city of Los Angeles installed several of these gates across the city to curb crime and to curb illegal dumpings throughout most of the city, but mainly in South LA. Today, more than 20 years later, we see these alleys still suffer from illegal dumping and the region at large still suffers from illegal dumping. And at most, most of these gates have sit dilapidated because since they were petitioned by the residents and have become private property, it has been up to the residents to maintain them, which is kind of crazy. So that's it for this episode. And if you stuck around this long, leave a comment down below. It would really help out this video and help out this channel a lot. And I'll catch you guys around on the recap.